This is my home automation project that I've been working on for the past year. Unfortunately, there weren't a lot of guides or uh, useful references online as to how to make your own uh, home automation system. So I was forced to scavenge around for bits and pieces of code here and there, as well as write my own code. So I decided to release uh, my own guide as to how to make your own home automation project uh, with uh, various codes and software that uh, I've scavenged or had to uh, make. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Shout out to MP4 and Dragon Devs for sponsoring this mod, as well as Chris Kirkhoff for helping me with some software issues and helping me develop some code. Here's a graphics user interface for my home automation project. On the bottom right is a webcam feed to the front door. Above it is a weather feed that's pulling data from the Underground Weather API. So we have um, forecasts for today with highs and lows, as well as the next three days with highs and lows. Above that is just a simple logo. On the top right are um, primary system controls, so you can restart the system, shut down the system, and exit to desktop. On the left side of the GUI, uh, we have the primary home automation controls. So, for instance, if I want to turn off this light, I would hit hallway light off. And if I want to turn it back on, I would hit hallway light on. And likewise, that would work for any of the lights in the house. So, for instance, if I want to turn on the uh, bedroom lights, I would just hit bedroom on. And if I wanted to turn off the bedroom lights again, I would just hit bedroom off. Here's the feedback notification system that I developed for my phone. So say for instance if I'm on the road and I want to turn off, say this hallway light, I will just uh, click on this icon. What it'll do is it will send a uh, instant message over to the, uh, the system telling it to turn off the light and then it will SMS back saying that it turned off the light. Text from ivona.automation.system at gmail.com. Hallway lights are turned off, Daddy. This is the automated feature that I programmed into the phone. So if I wanted to turn on this hallway light here, it would have to satisfy certain variables. And the variables for this example are it has to be from 5 to 9 p.m. on a weeknight has to be connected to the home Wi-Fi as well as being plugged in. So that basically means that when I get home after work and I plug in the phone, it should turn on the light as well as greet me. Welcome home, Daddy. All right, so here I have an alarm set for less than a minute from now. And what's going to happen is that the alarm's got to go off, and then the bedroom lights are going to turn on. Another preset mode. It's going to connect to the Bluetooth and then send out a... Um, instant message to the house telling it to turn off all the lights. So we just gotta wait for the SMS. Text from ivona.automation.system at gmail.com. I turned off all the lights, daddy. I hope you guys like that video. Uh, the videos after this are going to be uh, the work in progress videos that I've pasted together as I was developing the system. So you can either stop watching now and go to the thread to grab some code and some instructions, or you can just keep watching. All right, so this is the first run of the complete system. Right now on the USBs, I have uh, hooked up to uh, XOPC a, um, a Rocketfish HD webcam, as well as a CM19A USB X10 transmitter. So on Visual Studios, I'm going to begin debugging. So right now I have it set so that uh, full screen is off and that the on top option, option is also off so that you can see what's going on when, when I start pressing buttons. 
So uh, as you can see with the webcam, that's working right here. So that's going to be placed in front of my front door, as well as the weather. So uh, when I start pressing buttons here, you'll notice that batch files start popping up. And uh, that what that does is it begins communicating between the X10 transmitter and the X10 receivers. <clears throat> so right now I have a hallway light. I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to turn that back on. So as you can see, a, a batch file pops up. But when I have the um, on top option enabled, uh, you won't see that. So everything will be clean. And of course, uh, full screen will be enabled so that uh, the GUI will take up everything. Now let's uh, try out some other stuff. I don't have anything hooked up to these, but they basically do the same thing as a hallway light. So let's try out music. What music does is it launches Firefox, which has uh, Pandora as its um, home page. And uh, if I go back now and I kill it, it's going to kill Pandora already. All right, so here is my finished um, GUI for the home automation system. You notice on the left side there are uh, scripts to turn on all the lights, music, blinds, and air conditioning. So let's try it out. Let's turn off the hallway light and back on again. And you'll notice that there's a, a webcam feed right here, which goes to this Rocketfish HD webcam. And uh, that's going to be positioned on my front door so I can see who's uh, knocking. And here we have the, the weather, which is getting pulled from the underground weather API. It's got the uh, current forecast with highs and lows, as well as um, a forecast on the next three days with highs and lows. There's a logo here. And up here, you can restart, shut down, or exit the desktop. This uh, machine also doubles as my torrenting uh, machine, uh, which is able to uh, download files automatically from TED. And then um, it'll move all the download files over to my FreeNAS. There's also a script on there, which will automatically delete um, finished torrents after they've seeded for 150 percent and uh, also I've set up a web UI and um, I've set up a, a Dropbox where I can uh, drop all my dot torrent files and then it'll you know launch it and delete it. Here is the feedback notification system that I've made. How it works is that the phone will tell the XOPC to execute the command via text message and then the XOPC will execute that command and uh, send back a feedback notification to the phone via text message. So um, right now the uh, the phone to the XOPC um, communication pathway is still being um, made while the XOPC to the phone um, communication pathway has been perfected. So um, I'm going to show you the feedback notification. Uh, right now I have the um, hallway light on. So uh, right here, if I were to press on this, this will launch a batch file, which will uh, execute the command to tell the hallway light to turn off. And then it will send an email or a text message over to the phone um, saying that it has uh, executed the command. So there it is. It's been executed. And now we're just waiting for the text message. Text from home.automation.system at gmail.com. Hallway lights are turned off. Daddy. All right, so here's a test run of the communication medium between my phone and the computer. This is a one-way communication, so the phone only transmits and the computer only receives. In the back monitor here, I have a browser open to Gmail. And on my phone, I have Wi-Fi turned off, so I'm only running 4G, but it can also work on Wi-Fi. So on my phone, I have a folder called Home Automation. In it is populated by task cuts created in Tasker. So if I wanted to turn on uh, music, I would press this button, and the phone will instant message the computer with um, a command line saying to turn on uh, B15, which is music. So here we go. You'll notice on the bottom right, a GTalk pop-up will appear saying B15 is on. Now if I wanted to turn off music, that's B15 off. So here's a test run of how my phone communicates automatically uh, with the computer based on certain variables such as from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. Uh, if it's connected to the home Wi-Fi, if it's plugged in, and if it's a weeknight. 
So on my browser, I have a Gmail page uh, loaded. On the bottom right, there should be a GTalk pop-up after I've plugged in the phone because that's the only variable that's missing. So um, unfortunately, I don't have three hands, so I'm just going to try and plug this in. And then now there should be a pop-up saying turn on B12 silent. Test run of a modified Tweet My PC application that scans GTalk, which is Google Talk, a, um, a chat application, instead of Twitter for keywords, and it will launch um, programs depending on what keywords uh, you program it to. So here I have a hallway light uh, program to module address B12. So on the GTalk chat application, when I type in B12 off, it should turn off the module and then text the phone saying that it turned it off. So here we go. And the module is off. Now we're going to wait for the SMS. Text from iPhone.automation.system at gmail.com. Hallway lights are turned off, Daddy. This is a final test run of the communication medium between my phone and the PC. Uh, this is the bi-directional communication, so when the phone tells the PC to activate or deactivate a module, the PC will then SMS back to the phone that it executed the command. So on my phone, I have uh, 4G, and uh, this will work on 4G and Wi-Fi, and uh, the communication process is in real time, so it's pretty much instant. On the folder here, I have uh, task cuts uh, populating the folder. So if I want to turn on this light over here, I would uh, press like hallway on. On the PC, it will open up a batch file, turn on the light, as well as send out an SMS saying that um, it executed the file. Text from ivona.automation.system at gmail.com. Hallway lights are turned on, Daddy. So now if I wanted to turn on music, it'll do the same thing, uh, except it will not open up a module, but it will open up a browser uh, with a Pandora website. And it'll also SMS me back uh, that it executed the file. Text from ivona.automation.system at gmail.com. Pandora is on, Daddy. Now if I wanted to turn everything off, same thing. Text from ivona.automation.system at gmail.com. I turned off all the lights, Daddy.